Welcome back to Science Rocks. It's time for more adventures here at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve with life science at a social distance. Hi, I'm Martine LaDuke. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem. And we're here at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve today to show you life science at a social distance. Today, we're going to talk about the life cycle of the lubber grasshopper. The name comes from the word lobre, which means lazy or clumsy. Have you ever seen these big grasshoppers in your yard walking over the grass? They don't know how to fly. They do have wings, though, to help them make some noise. The lubber grasshopper goes through incomplete metamorphosis. If you remember, that only has three stages, the egg, then the nymph, and then the adult grasshopper. These are the ones we see in the summer. They're about five or six centimeters long. They will lay 25 to 30 eggs underground in summer, and they stay underground throughout the winter. When the eggs hatch, after the temperatures start to warm up, the nymph will emerge from the eggs. Now let's take a look at some of the lubber grasshopper nymphs that are starting to emerge now that the weather is warming up. These guys have emerged from their tiny little eggs that are just about a centimeter big and they will molt or shed their skin five times before they become that big yellow lubber grasshopper in the summertime. If you look at some of these, some of them are really tiny and have probably emerged and they're only in their first or second instar or first or second time that they molt. And some of them are bigger and you can see that that might be the third instar or even the fourth. Many people consider the lubber grasshopper a pest because you can see how it's damaging the leaf and it will eat a lot of other plants in your parents yard. They won't become the adult lubber grasshopper until this summer and they will eat their way all the way through until that time. Not many things eat the lubber grasshopper because they are toxic and there is one bird called a loggerhead shrike and it will catch the adult lubber grasshopper and impale it on a thorn or maybe on the barbed wire of a fence and he'll leave it there for a day or maybe two until the toxins have evaporated and then he's able to eat the lubber grasshopper. Not many other things can eat the lubber grasshopper, although there are some parasitic wasps that will lay eggs on the nymphs. And then the young wasp has something to eat when it emerges. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed our segment on incomplete metamorphosis. The lubber grasshopper goes through just three stages, the egg, the nymph, and then the adult yellow lubber grasshopper that we see in the summertime. Until next time, this is Martine from Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem, and we're going to just continue our learning about life science here in the uplands. We just kind of walked out of the woods here into this open area, and we're going to be looking for ant lion funnels. Um, nice sandy areas where there's loose sand is a good spot to check out, uh, around the base of trees, under park benches, right next to buildings, sometimes where you know there, there can be rain, but then they can also be protected. Also, sometimes just out in the open, you just look for ant hills and then looking around the edges of them you might see some of the little funnels where the ant lions make their little dens where they're able to pop up and grab those little ants that fall in so let's take a look all right so we're looking out here we found some ant lion holes and there's ant hills close by so we know they're here they're active uh, one way to check and see if there's an ant line in it is to just sprinkle a little bit of sand and see if one pops up out of the bottom and what they do is they grab with their pinchers and this is part of their life cycle uh, they do become lace wings and we'll talk about that later and so they are comparable because they have complete metamorphosis so just like in second grade and maybe kindergarten you learned about butterflies and how they metamorphosize and change well same thing Thing with the ant lion they have four more stages Excuse so what we're going to do is um, look at the ant lion hole we're going to dig that up we're going to start down at the bottom and just kind of bring it up and take a close-up look at it you can see him here he goes backwards trying to keep burrowing himself into the sand so if you put a little sand in your hand you'll kind of burrow into it but you see in the front he has little pinchers that's what he grabs the ants with so that he's able to hold on to them and eat them. He's gonna try and burrow right between my fingers there. 
Um, but again, they look very different than what you'd think an ant lion would look like. A lot of times you think of a lion, well, it's big and ferocious. These just live in the sand and kind of ferocious uh, with those ants. Uh, this is what the ant lion actually metamorphosizes into. It's the lace wing, and you can find these on screens and things maybe near your home or when you're out in nature looking around. And um, you can always look for ant lions around your home. Try and find those little funnels like we showed you. Sprinkle some sand in there to pretend that you are an ant or mimic an ant and uh, see the ant lion popping up. And then, of course, just dig down underneath it. Hope you have fun with that. Investigate outside. This is Ginger from Boyd Hill. Have a good day. That's our show. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned a little bit about life science that you can find in your own backyard and here at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. Plus, be sure to check out our YouTube channel for all the episodes of Life Science at a Social Distance. I'm Dave Cook. We'll see you next time.